Hi friends, it's day 7 once again for English and for today we will be having a story wherein the story setting is in a city and in a countryside. Last time we have um, unlocked this vocabulary words and so we are going to study about a story that is on your learner's book page 126. So please open your learner's book on page 126 and you're going to see this the city mouse and the country mouse are we ready so read together with miss dennis okay start with the title the city mouse and the country mouse cindy the city mouse and Kali, the country mouse met on the tv show changing places welcome to changing places said the announcer on this show you change places for a week. I've never been to the city, said Callie. I've never been to the country, said Cindy. Let's change places, said Callie and Cindy. You love the city, said Cindy. There's so much to see and do. There's always something happening. Wow, said Callie. That sounds great. The country is wonderful too. The bees buzz and the birds sing. At night, you can count the stars. That sounds wonderful, said Cindy. That evening, Callie arrived in the city. The city streets were full of life. There were shops and cafes, bright light and music. Some mice waved to Callie. Hi, Callie. Welcome to the city, they said. We're Cindy's friends. Come to our party. The party was at the top of a high building. There was food and dancing. This is amazing, said Callie. I love the city. So do we, said Cindy's friends. Just then, there was a strange noise. What's that? asked Callie. It's a cat, shouted the other mice. Run for your life! Callie ran out of the door down the stairs and in the street she jumped into the taxi take me home she said the city is too scary for me i want to go back to the country that same evening cindy arrived in the country callie's friend carlos met cindy at the bus stop welcome to the country city he said my name is carlos would you like to have a picnic Carlos and Cindy ate fresh berries and nuts. They listened to the birds singing. The sky grew dark and the stars came out. This is beautiful, said Cindy. I love the country. So do I, said Carlos. Just then, Carlos shouted, Quickly, run and hide. Here comes an owl. Cindy and Carlos jumped down the mouse hole just in time. The owl flew away. Cindy hurried to the bus stop. Thank you for the picnic, Carlos, she said. But the country is too scary for me. I'm going back to the city. That night, in the country, Callie said, I'm so happy to be home. That night, in the city, Cindy said, I'm so happy to be home. Did you like the story? So, this story, the city mouse and the country mouse, were mm, happened in a two different settings. One is in the city, one is in the countryside. Both of them never experienced the other side of the setting. So, they joined into a contest or into a program wherein they will be given a chance to switch places. At first, both of them felt glad and enjoyed um, the new place that they are at. However, when struggles come, like the scary animals that they feared of arrived, it made them realize how happy they were in their original place. So they decided to go back to their original places and give importance to what they have. And this story is an example of a fable. Fable is a story that features animals, plants, or forces of nature which are given human qualities. 
Of course, animals cannot talk like humans, right? So, since it's a fable, the traits or the characteristics of people were given to them. That's why they, in the story, they can talk. So, it's just a fiction story. A fable always ends with a moral. So, it means when we say moral, these are good lessons. So, at the end of the story, you always learn something good about life or about um, uh, different values in life. So, you will be able to not, le not only learn the lesson, but learn to become a good person. So, that's an example of a fable, which is the city mouse and the country mouse. Now, our story happened in two settings, the city and the countryside. In our story, you will see there are different kind of setting. In the city, uh, Kelly said she saw a lot of tall buildings, there are parties everywhere. While on the countryside, you will see there sky, birds singing, bees buzzing. So, different setting. So, let's try to find out which places falls on each setting skyscrapers where do we usually see skyscrapers remember skyscrapers these are tall buildings is it on city or on the countryside it's on city because tall buildings are usually built in a city how about forests which, which means there are a lot of trees tall trees different kinds of plants it's in the countryside big shopping malls or shopping centers where do we usually see that it's in the city wide or big roads and highways it's also in the city because this this one usually are on the busy streets of a city rice fields rice fields are um plantations of rice usually these are like farm like places so it's in countryside how about Owls and monkeys, where do we usually see them? Or most of the time see them? It's, of course, in the countryside. Unless you go to a zoo, which is in the city. So you will see these kinds of animals around. How about taxis? Of course, you will see it in the city. And mountains for the countryside. How about um, more toy shops or bigger shops? course it's in the city so those are examples of things that we usually see in the city and the countryside so i hope everything's clear about those two settings and for today we learned about the story a fable and the difference between a city and a countryside i hope you learned a lot today and have fun bye friends